There are a ton of Skype settings that you can use to customize your experience. Click on Tools and then Options. Here, you can do things like choose to start a call automatically after double-clicking on a contact's name, select how much time should go by before you're shown as inactive, and start Skype automatically when Windows starts. You can check your audio settings for your microphone, speakers, and select what device rings. You can also choose to be notified with a pop-up if someone comes online, goes offline, starts a chat with you, sends you a file, etc. Just check the box next to whatever you want to receive notifications about. In the advanced settings, you can set up hotkeys so you can use your keyboard to do things in Skype like answer a call, ignore a call, or hang up. Check off the box next to Enable Keyboard Shortcuts, select your option, and enter in the key combination you want to use, and click OK. There are many settings you can control to ensure that you have a great Skype experience. Make sure you check them out to set it up customized to your needs. And as always, make sure you save your changes. Thanks for watching and don't miss the first nine episodes in the Making Calls with Skype series. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit hover.com slash butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.